Now you mentioned the referral marketing thing, which you know I'll be honest, we're not really doing a lot of it. We used to do it, uh, but you know wherein we used to send people a ten percent off discount coupon along with uh, their um, uh, when when their orders used to, used to get shipped. Yeah, we used to send them a ten percent discount coupon just to get more business from them. Yeah, but we haven't really set up any referral marketing yet. So how do you how would you recommend everyone uh, to you know approach referral marketing? Like what are the top things that have, that that have worked really well for you and your business? Okay, so in terms of referrals, um, what's the best thing to work? Look, you need to test. Whatever works for somebody doesn't work for anybody. Correct. Now, I would say don't overcomplicate it. So you can do referral marketing. Just think, depends also on the niche, right? So let's say... Um, you sell let's talk about t-shirts let's talk about uh, let's say we we're selling t-shirts, t-shirts to we're selling t-shirts to moms let's say okay. that's the, that's the brand yeah we, with uh, we sell t-shirts to mom okay why does the mom love to buy t-shirts from you what's their motivation initially you need to understand that okay and then secondly you need to ask yourself if i want that mom to refer me another mom Okay, what are the questions that this mom is asking herself? Okay, you need to break there a there there is there is an objection that the mom does. Hey, look, listen, I I bought you a t-shirt, but don't please don't don't ask too much from me. That is the psychology that moment. You need to first of all break that. You know, you need to open up. Hey, dear mom, how was your experience with us? Okay, what would you consider as a great let's say strength or enjoyment that you had during the purchase and what would you probably change something so you know what's the weakness what could be your potential objection versus what's your strength where you will build the entire message around right now having said that okay they're gonna they're gonna give you this feeling and then you're gonna initially start very simple you're gonna ask you know if you don't ask you don't get now if you were in your current state right now would you refer a friend or somebody else to buy again a t-shirt from us? Simple question. If the answer is no, you're going to ask why? That's going to be something that you're going to improve as a business. If she's going to say yes, and then what would be for you an easy way and a fast way to refer five of your friends? Not even one, five, just to test. Because look, guys, reality is people become lazy. Okay, people don't want to do things. You need to make their life simple. You need to lead them. You're going to say, hey, listen, give me $5. I make sure the t-shirt is on you. Everything is, everybody is going to give you five. That's a simple step. All right. Then you're going to say, all right, just enter the phone number or whatever it is. You're going to explain. You will receive, you need to be clear, guys, and be precise in what you want to ask and build clear expectation if you're going to say you're going to get the red color whatever it is and they suddenly receive green then you're not going to meet the expectation so clarity is power right even when you set up your personal goals clarity is power clarity is power in this case you know like human beings are incredible creative uh, yeah humans like creative assets on this world but they love simple things if you overcomplicate a process, then you lose them. Okay, you need to ask the right question. Look, I usually train my uh, client desk team five frameworks. Okay, greet, always be happy. I don't want to have anybody in my client desk who's sad. Even if there's a funeral at your family, whatever it is, when you're at work, you need to smile. Clients shouldn't feel that you're unhappy. Okay, fake it but make sure that you're happy, okay? Identify the problem, okay? That's my number two. If you don't know the problem, ask intelligent questions, okay? Ask questions. If you still don't get it, still keep on asking questions until you identify what? Identify the problem, okay? Because you cannot provide a solution if you don't know what's the real problem. A lot of people I saw like at the beginning of when I worked in Setama and Kleindes, they proposed a solution, whereas the client was asking a different thing, you know? So fourth one is, once you've mm-hmm. identified a problem, okay, you want to propose the solution. Fifth step is close the deal. 
Okay, this is again a sales, guys. Maybe you're not going to make money, but this is sales. You need to close the deal. Five things. Five things that you need to master for clients, great clients, whatever it is. Whether you speak over phone, email, chat, whatever it is. You need, don't be the aggressive. Nobody likes to be sold. Everybody likes to buy. But ask the right questions. Be polite. Get the right information. Be patient. When it's the right time, shoot and close the deal. That's it. That's how I see it. Yeah, that's pretty simple, pretty clear. Oh, 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 o